Tonight on Front Page, we are breaking down Amazon's new bet. Empower 15 million small businesses and bring AI literacy to 4 million government school students by 2030. Is this real inclusion or just another big tech slogan? So if you're ready, let's find out. On December 4, 2025, Amazon quietly dropped a massive India announcement. $12.7 billion going into local cloud plus AI infrastructure by 2030. 15 million small businesses to get AI tools and automation. 4 million government school students to get AI literacy and career awareness. All aligned with the government of India's India AI mission and NEP 2020. On paper, it sounds simple. AI for every dukan, AI for every classroom, AI for every Indian shopper. But if you actually read between the lines, this is actually three different stories. Here they are. AI agents for sellers, AI literacy for students, AI infrastructure plus marketplaces for India's AI builders. And that's exactly where it gets interesting. Amazon's AI vision for sellers is quite blunt. Every entrepreneur should operate with enterprise-grade intelligence, even if they're a one-person shop, end quote. Here's how they want to get there. Seller assistant, from FAQ bot to 24 by 7 AI partner. Last year, Amazon launched Seller Assistant, a Gen AI-powered expert that answers seller queries. Now, it's evolving into an agentic AI worker, understands your business context and goals, analyzes your catalog, pricing, inventory, performance, doesn't just answer questions, it works alongside you, runs in the background, flags issues, surfaces, opportunities, operates 24 by 7 while keeping the seller in control. So think of it as a small seller in Hubli or who says, Help me increase sales for my top 20 SKUs before Diwali, end quote. Instead of just giving tips, the assistant can analyze demand trends, recommend discounts, ads, and listing improvements, draft campaign creatives, push tasks into an action center for one-click execution, introduces next generation seller central, which is command center, Amazon calls it an intelligent command center. Gen AI anticipates what the seller needs to do next. It actually surfaces hidden opportunities, which is pricing gaps, inventory risks, ad ideas, action center for instant approvals, custom dashboards for data backed decisions for Indian SMBs who never had a BI team. Well, this is basically analytics plus operations plus advisor in one screen. AI listings, creative studio and video generator. This is where AI hits the front end. Gen AI for listings. Type a very short description, upload a photo or paste your website URL. Then what it does is it gives you the full product titles, bullet points, and descriptions in minutes. So globally, sellers accept about 90% of AI-generated listing content with minimal edits. The Creative Studio, well, turns boring product shots into ads, banners, videos, repurposes a TV ad into a sponsored ad format. Video Generator, creative, high-quality video ads in minutes, no agencies, no shoot day, no editing studio. So, for a small textile exporter in Surat or a spices brand in Dharwar, this is genuinely huge because they skip three agencies and still look like a national brand online. The bottom line, if Amazon executes this well, India's long tail of SMBs doesn't just come online, they come online with Fortune 500 grade marketing and analytics. 
Amit Agarwal, the SVP emerging markets at Amazon summed up the com uh, company's intent. This is what he said. AI has the potential to be transformative for India, not just as technology, but as an equalizer that breaks down barriers of language, literacy and access. So this is basically Amazon trying to position itself as a national scale AI partner for sellers, for students and for India's digital eco economy. The second piece of this announcement is actually even more important because AI literacy and career awareness for 4 million government school students by 2030 and not just CBSC toppers in metros, government schools, undeserved regions. Amazon is promising this AI curriculum tuned to NEP 2020, hands-on experiments and projects, career tours to expose kids to AI jobs, teacher training. So, the system doesn't collapse. When one CSR pilot ends, Abhishek Singh, Additional Secretary at Meti and CEO, India AI Mission, nails the bigger picture. This is what he says. Education in the age of AI is not merely about understanding new technologies. It is about empowering every learner to use these technologies to solve India's unique challenges. Integrating AI into our classrooms is more than a skills initiative. It is a nation building effort. Well said, sir. End quote. If a child in Kopal can access the same AI tools as a child in Core Mangla, you're not just teaching coding, you're rewriting who gets to build India's AI products and whose problems those products are designed to solve. This announcement sits on top of three big AWS moves in India. $12.7 billion in cloud plus AI infrastructure by 2030. Amazon plans to invest $12.7 billion into local cloud and AI infrastructures across Telangana and Maharashtra. That means more data centers closer to Indian users, lower latency for AI workloads, easier compliance for regulated sectors. So this infrastructure is what will quietly power this. AI tools for sellers, AI literacy platforms for schools, Indian startups training models on AWS, India's first financial SLM. And here it is, Artham. At AWS reInvent 2025 in Las Vegas, Amazon showcased Artham, a 7B parameter small language model trained only on Indian financial and capital markets data, built by Rays Financial, Dhan, which is Artham. And this is what it delivers. It's actually built and hosted entirely in India, understands Indian regulations, filings, disclosures, powers, tools like Fuzz and ScanX with source backed insights. IT is designed to inform, not, inf uh, not advice, with very clear guardrails. And this is exactly the kind of India first AI layer that Amazon's infrastructure and marketplace can enable. Today, it's capital markets. Tomorrow, it could be agriculture, healthcare, logistics, regional languages, media all built on India-trained models running on India-based infrastructure. AWS Marketplace arrives in India. AWS has also expanded AWS Marketplace to India, which is 30,000 plus listings across 70 plus software categories, security, agentic AI, data and analytics, and of course, a lot more. Indian customers can now buy in Indian rupees. Indian ISVs can list and sell in Indian rupees with simplified tax and compliance partners already on board, which include global names like Cisco, CrowdStrike, Salesforce, IBM, Paolo Alto. India first AI players like Sarvam, Gupshap, and for and more for Indian AI startups. And this one is very crucial. You don't just build for India. You get a distribution channel to every AWS customer in the country. Yeah, you heard that right. 
So on the sidelines of AWS reInvent, AIM Network spoke to Kiran Jagannath, the Director, Financial Services and Conglomerates, AWS India and South Asia. For India specifically, he pointed out, regulated sectors like banks and insurers want AI but won't move PII to public cloud easily. AI factories give them a bridge, cloud innovation plus on-prem controls. And yes, he called out how Dhan and Artham being featured in Swami Siva Subramanyam's keynote is a big, big signal. Indian customers are not just consuming AI. They're building globally relevant AI products on AWS. So let's step back and kind of absorb the macro view. Because here it is. If Amazon delivers on what it's promising today, three big shifts could happen in India. SMBs get an AI staff. A seller in Mysuru or Guwahati doesn't need a marketing team, ops team, and analyst. All they need is a phone and Amazon's AI stack. So AI literacy becomes a government school reality, not just an IIT campus perk. 4 million students learning AI basics early means a completely different talent pipeline by 2035. India's AI stack gets deeper, not just wider. Infrastructure in Telangana and Maharashtra, India first models like Artham. Distribution via AWS Marketplace. Agentic AI tools tailored for India enterprises. So, while everyone talks about AI for all, the real race is actually this. Who will actually teach AI to India's next 100 million workers and students? Who will actually run the AI that powers India's next 10 million businesses? Today, Amazon has put a big number on the table. 15 million businesses, 4 million students, 12.7 billion dollars in infrastructure. And, as always, we'll track how much of that becomes reality in Kirana stores, in classrooms, and in India's AI factories. As you know, that's what we love doing on Front Page by AIM TV. Needless to say, like, share, subscribe, and always remember, yes, you guessed it, think AI, think AIM.